I'm Steve Light. I'm the author and illustrator of the children's book, Have You Seen My Lunchbox? I remember drawing and I was trying to draw Snoopy and I finally got it where it actually looked like Snoopy and I ran to show my mom and, um, and she was so proud and um, I was quite young at the time so it was like, you know, a big deal and um, Snoopy has always been my favorite. So um, that's my earliest memory um, of creating art but I also used to get the circulars, you know, the school booklets to buy books and I used to bring them, I couldn't wait to get home to draw all the characters from those and everything. Um, and I used to sit on the my dining room table, um, my mom used to let me sit there and draw and I used to draw all of those. One of them had a little mouse character that I loved so I used to draw wherever the mouse character was I drew the mouse. So. It's the same little boy from Have You Seen My Dragon? But it's a board book, so it's a little bit simpler. But um, we wanted to keep that complicated black and white drawing, but then give it a little bit more pop um, for a board book. So we have these nice um, graphic, big graphic colored shapes. Um, and you know, I wasn't quite sure how that would turn out, but it really turned out very nicely. And I was really proud and um, just coordinating the colors from the one page matches the thing that you're looking for. And then when you go to the next page, it's the color from the previous page. So it kind of goes through. Um, and it, was, it just came out really nice graphic. I think younger children are really gonna respond to that graphic quality of it. I think kids just starting to get ready to go to school, you know, it's their first time going to school. And you know, that whole getting ready for school is sometimes really a hard time, a really hard transition for them. Um, so a book like this, I think would be good because it's a little bit fun. They can find the things that are hidden, but it's also the kid is getting ready for school. So um, I think those younger kids, um, I would say even if they're, they're going at two and a half or three um, preschool, uh, kids will really enjoy it and it'll be a good kind of segue into getting ready for school. So one of the things that I was told was that um, I was really trying to illustrate and I had this great teacher, Dave Pasolacqua, and he said, well, drawing should be like breathing. It should be, you should be comfortable while you're doing it. And yes, you should challenge yourself and you should at those times be uncomfortable but when you're trying to do a finished thing for, you know, a deadline and everything, it should be very comfortable. It should be like breathing and you should, you know, and it took me a while to get there, but uh, you know, now when I sit down, it's like breathing and I just go into these worlds and I can draw all these things. And um, I just try to remember that. And it, it took me a while to get to a style that was like that, but now it is, and it's really a nice, um, pleasurable thing. If you're struggling to create this thing, you know, then, then it's, you're probably trying to do something that's not you, you know? So it was more about like being your own artist and, and creating your own work. I teach pre-K also, so I don't always tell them that I've done these books, but they're in the classroom and other teachers wind up telling them and stuff, and then we do a whole thing and everything. But then I'll, I'll get them, they come up and, and ask me, is this, did you do this book? Did you do this book? And I'm like, no, I haven't done every book. Um, and one time I was at the, um, the same thing kind of happened at the Eric Carle um, Museum uh, for picture books, and I was in the library ready to read my book, and a little boy sat down and go, are you Eric Carle? I'm like, no, I'm not Eric Carl. And he's like, did you do all these books, meaning all the books in the library? I'm like, no, I didn't do all the books, but I did a few books I'm gonna read. And so it was pretty, he was, then he had a lot of fun, so it was good. I also get a lot of kids bringing me drawings that they've done because of the drawings in my book, and I love that because for me, I, I've drawn since I was really young and I draw every day, so to see a kid encouraged to draw from my books is just, the greatest thing and I have we have a whole wall of drawings me and my wife that we keep people have sent and people have given me at events and stuff and um, they're just so great to look at and everything um, that's really the the greatest pleasure when a kid gives you a drawing and I've gotten them excited to draw from my books so. a lot of thought goes into the color and how much color and which colors on which page um, that came about from a sketchbook I was drawing the city and I started putting dragons in them and I started just coloring because it was my sketchbook one little thing or one dragon or something and um, an art director here at Candlewick saw it and said um, 
uh, we should do the book that way, and then you just color the things that we count. So that's how it started. And then with books like Swap, um, we I had this blue that I was like kind of obsessed with, and and how much blue of the water would be shown in each thing because they sail from place to place. And then so with Have You Seen My Lunchbox, I really wanted these bright colors, but how can we incorporate the two? So I actually hand painted gouache on paper and then cut out those colored shapes and glued them down and then drew around them. So um, it's it was really fun to figure out all the colors and pick out the colors. I'm actually not as good with colors. My wife helps me a lot mixing colors and stuff, but a lot of time goes into the colors because there are so few. It's like they have to be very strategic and um, okay, if this, you know, if there's red on this page, we don't want red on the next page and plotting it all out that way. I mean, I do whole paginations of just the colors um, just to see what's on each page um, and work it out. So it's fun though. <laughs>